Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, let's look at the book of Isaiah 32, line 9. And the translation that I'm reading says, You women who are so complacent, rise up and listen to me. You daughters who feel secure, hear what I have to say. Every day we should have an action plan for doing something different in our lives, for taking the next step towards greatness and never be content with simply getting by. Easy should never be our goal and motivation. Mediocrity should not be something we settle for. Let's strive for being better than average since God is no average God. He is the ultimate all-knowing, all-seeing, all-powerful being everywhere and everything to all creatures, God. As his reflection, we cannot walk with lower expectations of ourselves or those who we associate with. Laziness is tantamount to indifference. We don't need to aim for perfection. You will kill yourself trying to be perfect. But we should aim for greatness, excellence, and being better than we were yesterday. Step up, show up, and show who you really are as a child of our Heavenly Father, Mother. Let's pray on it. Father, I know that you don't approve of laziness, complacency, and contentment with the status quo of the world. I never want to be satisfied with mediocrity, with doing what others are doing, or being a powerless and voiceless ward under someone else's authority. I want to always be standing, moving, thinking, and doing my best to live life as you expect of me. Even when my circumstances seem grim, I pray that I invest the same energy as I would in better days. Thank you, Father, for instilling that passion and purpose in my life. I love you. Amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. Make today an awesome day. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.